All right, guys, so what we're doing today is we're gonna show you how we properly use a CEDAR. A CEDAR is, it's an acronym, C-I-D-R. I really need to read what that acronym means. Let's see what it means. It is a long word. You're gonna have to look it up. C-I-D-R is the acronym. And that's these things right here. It's called an easy breeder. We get these things from valuevet.com. We use these with the help of our veterinarian. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna set up and we're gonna do step-by-step -step today over how you would use these on your goat herd and what they are used for. All right, guys, so what I've laid out here is gonna be obviously our cedars. There's an applicator gun that you use, and this is to actually put the cedar inside of the female goat. And all it is is you put it inside the vulva and it releases the cedar and then you pull it out. And to do that, we're obviously gonna use a lot of lubricant. And then we are gonna give them a shot of what's called lutalice. And this right here just kind of resets the cycle that they're on. So I said that we are going to discuss the reason for doing this. So if you look at our videos, you'll see where we have 15, 20, baby goats all born kind of around the same age so they're all able to be housed together they all get castrated at the same time they're all bottle fed at the same time and they all get along and kind of grow up together well that is something that you really want to do when you're a dairy farm because if you're going to bottle feed them you want to have to do it all at one time i don't want to be bottle feeding all year long and i want to spend the three to five day period of time where our goats have babies watching those goats i want to move the the adult goats to the barn and i want to be very closely watching them to make sure that if they have any issues with delivery i'm there to step in and help or get our veterinarian out to help. So by doing this, all the goats are gonna come into heat on the same day, which is gonna be about 14 to 15 days after today. And they're all gonna get bred at the same time, which means they're all gonna have babies around the same few days. And then we can raise all those babies together. And that is what's called kidding season. Typically, you have two different types of goats. You have goats that comes from a tropical environment, like Nigerian dwarf goats. Those goats are gonna come into heat every 21 days. And then you have goats like your Nubian goats, which are seasonal breeders. So they typically breed when the days start getting shorter. So in the wild, they would have babies in spring or summer. Um, so with these guys, what we're going to do today is we are going to insert the cedar and we're going to give everybody a shot of two cc's of lutalice. 14 days from now, we'll remove the cedars and give them another shot of lutalice and put them in with the buck. And then they should be pregnant within about two days from that. And then 145 days after that, they're all going to have babies so that we have all these cute little babies for the tickety tot to post all the videos of. And also that way we have all of our milk production for the winter time. Okay, so we're going to start with Ivory. And she is a goat that we thought was already ready bred, but she wasn't. She came back into heat, so we know that she wasn't bred when we thought she was last year. So we're going to go ahead and breed her. She's one of our best goats. She produces a large amount of milk. She always has a really quick and easy kidding. She never has any issues with giving birth. So I'm going to go grab her, and we're going to bring her in here to make things a little bit easier. All right, guys, so oftentimes when people talk about working with their goats, whether they're trimming hooves or they're trying to shear their goat or checking out an injury or something, I always hear that they have a hard time controlling them. What we use here with Ivory is we actually have a carabiner with a plastic collar on it. There is links on this collar that allow it to easily break away, so we skip that link. These are the collars that we use in our dairy so that goats can't hang themselves. So we skip that link when we put the carabiner on it and we just have her tied to the fence. And that way one person is allowed to do the work with them, is able to get a hoof or trim them or whatever issue is going on, one person can do it by themselves. As you can tell, Jonas is behind the camera right now. All right, guys. So now that we have all of our supplies, we're going to go ahead and get started. So I'm putting on a pair of gloves. These can actually cause miscarriages in women. And it's very important that a woman never handle these directly. And honestly, anybody, because it is hormones, should definitely put on gloves, latex gloves, whenever they're handling these hormones like this. So we are going to go ahead and get these gloves on. Now, what I have here is a cedar. And these things have a wing on the side of them. These wings are just whenever we release it inside the goat, they're going to spread out to hold it in place. So I'm going to go ahead and fold these down like that whenever I stick it in the applicator right here. Now this applicator gun is gonna go inside the goat, so we do need to make sure that this is sterile. So I have here a bucket of chlorhexidine. It's just a good safe sanitizer. You'll see this dentist offices use it, doctor's offices, places like that, vet's offices. So I'm just gonna dip that all in the chlorhexidine and then I'm gonna go ahead, let it dry a little bit. And we have paper towels here that we can dry it off with. Try and keep everything as clean and sterile as possible while you're doing this. That's good and dry. We're gonna go ahead and load our cedar into our applicator gun. And Jonas, if this is getting a good shot of this, I'm putting the, the wing there. This is what's gonna stay outside of the goat. I'm leaving that sticking up out of the top bevel of the applicator gun and going ahead and squeezing that down in there. Push it all the way in. 
there we go. And so that's fully loaded. Now, um, surgical lube comes in an actual sterile container. Um, the outside of this looks a little nasty, but we're gonna go ahead and take some of this lubricant and we'll just spread this on the outside there. Let that excess off. So now the cedar is loaded and ready to go and we're putting it on our little sterile area here. And then we need to go ahead and clean the goat. So I'm gonna get me another one of my paper towels. We're just gonna dip it in a little bit of chlorhexidine here. And Jonas, if you wanna go to the back side of the goat, we'll go ahead and get started. We have a little bit of chlorhexidine on the end of our paper towel. We're gonna go ahead and wipe off the excess, the outside right there, just any debris or dirt or anything. And then we're ready to go ahead and implant our cedar. So as a dairy farmer, you're very used to having to work around a goat's backside here. So we know that just inside of that opening, there is actually going to be a pelvic bone. So you'll go straight in and then you'll angle it upward a little bit and go up and over that to leave the applicator before you pull the applicator out. So we're just gonna go in just like this. You spread the outside. Insert up and over. And then we'll go ahead and insert it. And now you can see there, that little bit is left out. And what we'll do is in 14 days, we'll use this part right here to actually pull that cedar out. Now that we've gone ahead and implanted the cedar, we are gonna go ahead and clean this off with some chlorhexidine and we need to give her the shot of Lutalice. Now, Lutalice is a prescription only. One thing that I do love about this product is we don't have to worry about any milk withdrawal times. And what that means is if you give an animal a drug, you obviously don't want that drug to then go into your product, your milk or your cheese. With this, they're gonna be pregnant for five months and there's no withdrawal time for this because you're not doing it to animals that you're actively milking. We've got our sterile needle here, we've got our Lutalice, and it is two mLs per goat. Go ahead and draw that up, go ahead and pull that out and now anytime that you're giving a hormone injection 99.9% .9 of the time everything that I know of is going to be IM. IM means that it's going to be intramuscular. The most common spot to do intramuscular on a goat is either in the neck or in the back leg. I personally prefer the back leg because I'm normally working by myself when I'm dealing with these guys and there's no chance of hitting the jugular in your back leg. So we're going to go ahead and give her this shot of Lutalice and I just like to tap her a few times before I give it to her. Um, the shot, give her a little rub. And Ivory, you were absolutely amazing. You were a much better model than I expected. And this girl right here is one of my favorite goats. Her sister actually lives with our good friends over at Pine Tree Hill Wildlife Rescue. They're just my favorite, favorite goats. This whole line, her mom is one of my favorite goats. I absolutely love these goats. And so what we're gonna do is she goes back in with the rest of her family and she's gonna live out there totally normally. And then in 14 days, we'll go ahead and pull that cedar out, give her another shot. And she's gonna go in with Casota is gonna be her uh, baby daddy. I love you so much. You're such a good goat sometimes. 